Sichuan dish. It's called Kou Shui Ji. In English, it sounds a bit disgusting, but it means when you eat this chicken, and your your mouth will be totally watery, and you can't stop eating it. And it's called Kou Shui Ji. And we use uh, half chicken for this recipe. Um, in China, there's a traditional um, Chinese chicken. I don't know why, but it's called San Huangji. Means it has a yellow feather in yellow skin, so everything's yellow. So it's kind of healthy, lean, and um, tasty chicken. But I can't get this kind of chicken in Germany, so I bought a chicken from France. And it's it's a mice chicken, which is means it's feeded on corn. And uh, you can see this chicken is all it's also yellow, has a yellow skin, and it's um, compared to other chicken, it's a uh, kind of bigger and uh, juicier and uh, we use half of this so we need to cook this in the cold water and uh, we're gonna go into our kitchen to show you how to make this kou shui ji mouse watery chicken yeah i got a medium sized pot and you can see i put cold water in and just to cover the chicken and i have some um, this is a spring onion, the two of them, but I just make a knot of it. It's easier to cook in a pot, have enough space for other stuff. And then I have three or four pieces of ginger. And this is also going to the water, two garlics, some this star onions. This is really common for Chinese cooking. And some Sichuan pepper. These are just putting all of them, putting the water, and then we're going to add about three tablespoons of um, Chinese cooking liquor, Hua Diao or uh, Huang Jiu. Then we can turn our heat up to high. Then we wait until this start boiling and we leave the lid and don't have to cover it at this stage. Now we can have a look of the chicken. Right now it start boiling and then I let it, the lid open for and let's cook this for another 10 to 15 minutes. Just let it start boiling, keep bubbling and then we want to make sure that chicken is totally cooked through. And after 15 minutes we can turn off the heat and close the lid and let it sit for another 40 minutes. Now our chicken has cooked for 50 minutes and then sit in the hot chicken soup for another 40 minutes. And then we can have a look. It's a really good quality chicken. You can see a layer of chicken fat on top and then we can take a, a chopstick and just try to make a hole here to see if there's any blood coming out see the juice coming out clear means the chicken has cooked through now we can move this chicken into a cold bowl here and I put some ice in it and uh, we just put in a bit of water and we're gonna use this water to totally cool our chicken a bit small but you get the point you have to cool it 
completely. And while this cooling, we can make our spicy sauce. Now we turn our stove on to medium low heat. I have already put in a bit of uh, Szechuan pepper and two dry chili in here. We are just going to cook this quickly. And this is for our soup base. And um, I also have a bag of uh, chili powder. This just to save a bit of time to make your own chili powder. And this you can see it's not so spicy. I guess you can also get spicier one uh, in the supermarket if you like. And uh, because we have this dry chili here and we don't need the really spicy chili powder. So we take one tablespoon of uh, chili powder. Now we can take our Szechuan pepper and uh, dry chili, put it in a mold. We are going to break this to powder. And put this also into our chili. Now we're going to heat a bit of oil in our pan. Say two tablespoons. They don't know how hot the oil should be. There's a, a trick to this is you can cook this, see a bit of smoke coming out. Gently put in about one tablespoon and then leave the rest. Shake it a little bit. This is just preheating the chili powder. Now we cook the rest of oil really to high heat. Now you can see stronger smoke coming out means your oil is really hot. Now you have to be really careful. Put your oil totally into this chili powder. While this oil is still hot, we put in our ginger and garlic. It's about uh, two slices of ginger and two two garlics and we also have some uh, celery and I cut it to small pieces so we also put those in give it a stir and now we will need two tablespoon of um, soy sauce I probably have only one tablespoon here A bit more. Yeah, two tablespoons of soy sauce. And then one tablespoon of um, Chinese vinegar. And now we can give it the chicken soup. We cooked earlier, we can give it about one cup. Just to dilute our sauce a bit. Maybe a bit more. Okay. We want to make sure to cover our chicken with this red hot sauce. Forget to put a pinch of sugar in your hot sauce. Now we can take our chicken out of the cold water. Now we have to cut this whole half chicken to small pieces.
capture the knock. If you like, you can put them to bite sizes. And you just transfer this. is almost ready. It's cut into slices and you can see how juicy it is. Beautiful color but now going to make it better with our sauce. So we just putting all our sauce on top of the chicken. Okay, we should cover every part of the chicken now we have some uh, spring onions and um, coriander so we just put them on top trying to make this pretty Some sesame seeds. Now let's give it a try. Our oh, cold shui ji. I'll try to find a small piece. It's perfect for summer. Mm, if you can finish this whole chicken, you can put it in the fridge and then have it the next day. It will just be totally cold and refreshing. Hope you like it. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up and leave your comments below. I will make more Sichuan dishes later next week. And if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See ya!